Hey, it's Jack from Alpha Charts with a stocks to watch video. Today is May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, 2024. Before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only. These are not recommendations to buy, sell, or hold any stock or security. And I may hold positions in some of the equities mentioned. Know your time frame and risk tolerance. All right, thank you all for watching the video. If you haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, also, find me on X at AlphaCharge365. I'm always posting stuff for free on there. Um, and I do go much more in depth for my subscriber group um, through market videos, uh, at least to a week um, on the weekends, and also a midweek video, uh, market notes. Again, I do a market note on the weekend and also a midweek market note to keep people engaged in the market. Annotated charts, focus list videos, um, market scans to keep people, again, engaged and idea generation, um, subscriber chart requests, and so much more. Uh, it's only 10 bucks, and in the end, it, it's really a full-service subscription service, uh, but for a very, very reasonable price. It's real. I mean, if you work full time, I'm doing a ton of the work for you. So you just have to go in and decide on what trades you want, how you want to trade it and that kind of stuff. I give you suggestions, but it's always your choice. Okay. I never tell you to buy or sell just, you know, the way I would look at the chart. Uh, check it out at Alpha Church 365. Just go down here, click subscribe. I said it's month to month as well. So you like it, it helps you. Great. Keep it going. You don't like it. You know what? You don't have to stay with us, um, but I, we've had very much success with this, so I think you will like it. Okay, let's get into these charts. So we have the spy here, and um, and we don't know if this is going to be a topping pattern, right? Potentially, or if this is going to be you know higher highs and higher lows, and we're going to shoot up higher. Uh, so cautionary area. We're still under the fifty day, and I think this is the bigger area, this five thirteen ish area, um, and then we'll go from there, right? But Along the way, there are some things setting up. So I have some names for you, about 10 or so names. And um, I think you're going to like these. So let's take a look. First one is New Holdings. So I've liked this one in the past, um, especially as it was coming up this way. I think I bought it on the breakout here and sold in here. Um, and I'm glad I did because it came back in. And now it's starting to set up again. Now, I don't know if this is, you know, we, again, we never know the answer to these questions, but I think maybe uh, if it continues higher from here, uh, we can potentially get involved with this name. So, yeah, it's got maybe a little supply back here, but overall looking really, really good. Should be on our watch list. Uh, CPNG. Uh, this is Coupang. Again, another name I like a lot. I own some of this. Um, does have earnings coming up. Uh, by the way, I'm using DeepView. I uh, love this DeepView software. Uh, they use flags here and tells you if it's red, it means earnings within the week. And if it's gray flag here, it means earnings within two weeks. So it's a nice way to look at it. But again, check out deepview.com if you want some information about that. Uh, but here, Coupang, nice kind of tight consolidation with earnings coming up in two days. It's going to be really interesting. So one to watch. Robinhood, Hood, H-O-O-D. Uh, so let's go to a weekly chart on this one, and you're going to see this a little bit better. So you see how this was, you know, support here, resistance here. We broke out above the VWAP from IPO, which is about the same spot as the VWAP from this uh, last earnings report. Held right in all the same spot, which is really interesting. I love that. Um, and then, you know, and we kind of held there and we're starting to bounce higher above all the moving averages. So back here, I was saying it was going to bounce, you know, okay, we'll just move this right there. That works, right? Uh, but I love the way this is holding right here and it's trying to move higher. So hood looks really, really good there. Um, keep going. Again, it has earnings coming up on the 8th. So just be aware of that. A lot of these do have earnings coming up. Know your earnings dates. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's your responsibility to know when your things you want to buy or own have earnings. CRBG, Corebridge Financial, uh, already had earnings, but a nice, you know, only it's about 2% move, a little indecision candle there. I'd like to see it break this 29.50-ish area. And I think, so it may have to build out a little bit here, and but above 29.50 looks really good. APP is app 11. Again, earnings coming up. It says on the 8th, uh, been a super strong stock. From the last earnings report, you see how the VWAP has held. Very nice to see. And uh, and now we have this kind of diagonal 
price got above it. It all looks really good. But again, we do have earnings in three days, so just be aware of that. But overall, this looks very, very nice and strong. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, IoT is next. Now, this is a stock that honestly is like on my do not trade list because I've got chopped up in this one. You can see I've been kind of, you know, been choppy quite a bit over here. That being said, we're starting to see some nice little, you know, base formation here, right? Again, maybe an inverse head and shoulders. Maybe it comes up here, backs off a little bit, and then breaks out. But it's definitely one I am watching for a potential finish off on the base. Um, again, on the weekly chart, it's a great looking chart on the weekly, right? I mean, let's look at this weekly, get rid of some of the noise. Again, you see how it's kind of choppy, but held where it needed to hold, and now it's coming back around. So that's IoT, not bad. Kava is next. Again, I do own some Kava. Um, this was actually uh, um, my subscriber group has involved in this as well. Uh, again, anything I own, they they uh, you know I share with them obviously. Um, you know, and we talked about back you know three five right. We've been you know talking about Kava you know back in here, um, and we believe we like this longer term. And it looks like it is holding up really, really nice. And um, and we're back in it. Again, we've been in it multiple times. I don't know if, if all the notes are in here or not. But yeah, there's been... I don't even see all the notes. But we've been in this multiple times. But it's a beautiful base. I mean, just look at this. Retest, held, moving higher. Uh, looks really, really good. And so, uh, you know, again, if it just continues higher, right? you got to get involved with it. Set your stop where you think is appropriate. You know, probably around this pink line or so, 6950-ish. You know, maybe 70 bucks. You know, so it's a low risk, high reward type of name. It looks good, right? I mean, let's be honest. It looks really good. And uh, and it's one that does not have earnings. So that's a nice spot. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, blah, 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 blah. PRCT. Now, this is one I traded back in here. And I got stopped out of it. It really didn't do anything. Chop, 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 chop. And now it is off of earnings. Really starting to move higher. Looks great. Um, you know, this was, you know, back in two eleven. That's when I was when I was uh, trading it, right? So back in, yeah, back in right in here, exactly. Uh, so chopped around, moved higher. I think it needs a time to catch up. I don't think it's ready quite yet, but it is a beautiful move. Continuation. You know, I'm gonna throw a VWAP on there right from the move. I think that's an important VWAP now, and we'll see what happens. That's PRCT. Um, EBC is a banking stock. This is Eastern Bank shares. And again, it's, you know, kind of gross over here. But when we kind of look at this and we can throw a little trend line, you know, something like that, right? That's a good, good enough trend line right there. You have a bunching up of the moving averages. Nice move higher. It's a bank stock. Is it going to be the fastest mover? I mean, I, we never know, but um, but probably not. But overall, it's doing everything right. So I put it on the list. And the last one is going to be Duolingo, D-U-O-L. And so we have this kind of, you know, I don't want to call it double bottom, but it's a base. It's some sort of base. And it's holding up really nice. Again, this is where sellers have come in. So do I want to buy up here? Absolutely not, especially not with earnings in three days, right? But it's one that if this pops, then I may want to get involved with there. So know your earnings dates, very, very important. Um, and don't trust anybody else's, you know, even if this was May 8th, if you own it, you probably want to just double check it, um, my suggestion. But overall it looks, you know, again, a nice little, little kind of base making right there, right? <laughs> you know? That's a, uh, let's just get rid of this one because that's this is a new important base. All right. So thank you all for watching. If you haven't done so, check out, um, out Alpha Charts 365. Uh, click on the subscribe button. I really think you guys would like that. So come join us. And I hope you all have a great week. Thank you.